Hello all, my name is Krishnayak and welcome to my vlogging channel. So guys, if you are planning to get into data science field or you want to work into the machine learning field or deep learning, you should basically know about these three people. They are also called as godfathers of AI and godfathers of deep learning because they have really, really spent many number of years in the field of AI and deep learning. They are the basic pillars because they have done a lot of research. They have invented a lot of things. So let's try to go one by one and let's see about the most famous three people in the field of AI and about their achievement. So here we go. The first person that we are going to talk about is Jeffrey Hinton. I am been a big fan of Jeffrey Hinton. The reason is that I can just say you because he has done the most amazing thing. He has actually come up with the most amazing thing, which is called as back propagation in neural networks. I've read some of his blogs, you know, where it was said that his idea, nobody believed, you know, nobody believed in his idea, but still he was there. He was actually doing that specific work. And trust me, guys, he's actually called as the godfather of deep learning because of the back probation theory that he had actually brought into practice, right? It had actually led to the development of the whole deep learning thing, you know? Because of the back propagation where the neural networks are getting trained, they're able to train some amazing, uh, you know, with respect to kind uh, like any kind of categories of ANN data or CNN, even in RNN, that is like recurrent neural network, in convolution neural network, in LSTM, every advanced deep learning technique is now using some back propagation algorithm. So it is very, very important that you know about Jeffrey Hinton. He is also called as the godfather of deep learning and immortal for and he is immortal for his paper, which is called as learning representation by back propagating errors published in nature in 1986. Just imagine guys, we are in 2020s and he had actually come up with this information in 1986. In 1980s, when he was working in his idea, nobody believed because they were just thinking that he's wasting his time. Right. But yes, he kept to that particular thing and he brought this amazing thing now with which every advanced deep learning technique that comes up, the base is basically used as a back propagation algorithm in that. Right. That is how neural networks actually get trained. Try to learn transformers, try to learn birds. You know, if you go and see the retraining approach, I mean, if you go and see the training model approach, you know, back propagation will definitely be used. Right. Then his other contribution to the neural network research include Boltzmann machine, distributed representation, time delay neural networks, mixture of experts and Helmholtz machine and product of experts. Apart from that, they also filing a paper patent with respect to capsule neural networks, which was in the recent news that had actually come. Apart from this, guys, he Jeffrey Hinton also teaches in University of Toronto. Apart from that, he is also he also works in Google in the Google Deep Minds uh, team, right? And over there, I think all the amazing work that is basically done by Google, you know, that is all because of Jeffrey Hinton. In short, you know, so he he may be the main person over there who is doing some amazing work. Now. And I am really a big fan. Just try to read his blogs and all. Uh, you can also find his courses in Coursera where he's teaching about various kind of back propagation algorithm with neural networks and all. So just go through that. Coming to the next person, we have Jan Lacun. So Jan Lacun, he is also considered as the father of convolution neural network because he actually, his main contribution is with respect to image recognition. Uh, he has also worked on optical op optical character recognition, computer vision, convolution neural networks, and is the founding father of convolution nets. How the convolution neural network works? If in that you have a specific layer called as convolution. If you know about deep learning, if you know about CNN, you'll be able to understand how beautifully that is actually been represented or thought. You know, so that is important. But again, understand Jan Lacun is can be called as a father of convolution neural network because he has done some amazing work with respect to convolution neural network, where the main part, which is called as convolution, how the convolution actually happens. You know, you have strides, you have filters and many more things, right? That whole thing has actually been come up with Jan Lacun. He has actually done the whole research on that. He's also one of the main creators of uh, DJVU image compression technology together with Leon Boto and Patrick Hafner, he co-developed the lush programming language with Leon Boto. Okay. And if you don't know about Jan Lacun again, guys, he's also a director uh, 
AI director in Facebook research and he works over there also and again most of the in Facebook some of the image tagging technique right which had actually come up many years back it is all because of his idea his thought process and how they have actually implemented it that's an amazing feat uh, because just understand there are so many people in Facebook right who are using Facebook and if you see the image tagging in Facebook right it's pretty much amazing thing right now coming to the next pe person is Joshua B Bengio he's a Canadian computer scientist mostly noted for working on artificial neural network and deep learning he's also known for deep learning he's also known for deep learning neural machine translation GAN attention model word embeddings denoising auto encoders neural language models he's mostly into RNN things recurrent neural network thing and uh, he's also done a pretty amazing good work because you can see there uh, <clears throat> if you see some of the research paper with respect to machine learning translation language translation and all his name will also be coming over there because he has done an extensive research on that now why these three people why why do i say them that they are the godfathers of ai and godfathers of deep learning because they have actually created the base on top of that now many people are researching and many people are bringing some amazing things right but again still i'd consider the main base was from jeffrey hinton where he came up with his paper which is called as learning representation by back propagating errors the back concept of back propagation is pretty much amazing guys and a wonderful idea i don't know like because of these three people now many companies are able to build so big big things right so apart from that guys one more special thing about them are that recently in 2018 you know and there's an award called as Turing Award, which is also known as Nobel Prize for Computing, of Computing, sorry, has been given to the trio of researchers who laid the foundation for the current boom in the artificial intelligence. Because of them, now you can see the AI, like what the thought process was then before. And now because of the huge amount of data, many companies are doing many amazing things, right? They're also called as the uh, godfathers of AI. Has They have been recognized by $1 million for their work developing the AI subfield and uh, deep learning. So if you don't know about Turing Awards, guys, it is nothing but the Nobel Prize of Computing. And uh, this, uh, they were recognized by $1 million annually and for the for their amazing work in the field of AI. So yes, if somebody, if anybody is actually getting into data, data science domain, definitely you should know about these three people. That is Jeffrey Hinton, uh, Jan Lacun. So here we have Jeffrey Hinton, Jan Lacun, and Yoshio Bengio amazing work just read the stories guys how did they do the thing in research and all there's a wonderful biography written uh, about uh, jeffrey hinton you should actually see that it is available in youtube i think you'll be able to learn a whole lot of things but again the most important award is this turing award guys uh, which is nothing but the nobel prize of computing this is basically given in in the field of science and technology uh, where you are that is related to computing itself uh, so yes uh, Definitely, we can consider them as an amazing people and I do definitely follow them in Twitter in other platforms so that whatever invention, whatever things that come up with, whatever research they come up with, I definitely have a look since I really want to get into this particular field itself. So I hope you like this particular video. Uh, please do subscribe to the channel. If you have not already subscribed, I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great day. Thank you one and all. Bye-bye.